We are here at the Amsoil Snowcross National in Lake Geneva. And last night we had the exciting Dominator race where pro light rider Jordan LaBelle took the big win. It was such an exciting race and only the second pro light rider to win that coveted trophy. We are now in the pits and let's go see who we can find to talk to. I am here with Lincoln Lemieux. Lincoln, it is so good to have you and 1-3 Motorsports back at the races. You had an injury early off in the season and you're back. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. You know, it was pretty scary to uh, break nine ribs, some vertebrae and uh, have a collapsed lung, but uh, I feel great now and it, it's awesome to be back and watch the races and watch all the younger guys and, and watch the pro class. You know, it's an exciting class and uh, there's some good battles, so. That's for sure. And yesterday we saw you out for the Dominator practice. Are we are we anticipating a comeback at some point this season? Yeah, we wanted to get some good data on the sled. So I went out in Dominator practice and Lake Geneva is my favorite track ever. So, uh, you know, I just had to ride it. I had to ride it. We haven't been here in a couple of years. So, uh, but yeah, you guys are going to see me in Michigan. I'm going to be racing on Saturday and uh, I can't wait. I just want to go out with a bang and uh, feel good about the season. So. Well, certainly we're excited to see you back out there again and good luck. We are here with Adam Renheim. Adam, your role looks a little different this year as you're kind of just spectating, but you came all the way back to the U.S. What made you come here to Lake Geneva? <laughs> yeah, I wonder the same. <laughs> no, I'm, I like Lake Geneva. It's always been good to me uh, results wise. So yeah, I wanted to make a trip this year. So this was the one. Well, we're glad you made an appearance. And how does it kind of feel being on the other side of things and watching the races from the bleachers? Yeah, it's uh, different. Like I've been trying it at home, going up three in the morning, watching, and then you see something. Oh, I wonder if I could have done that better than that guy. Or, and then you get pissed off and you can't sleep. So I stopped. I can't do that. <laughs> That's too hard. But to watch here, it's another thing. So then I can enjoy it. <laughs> That's for sure. And it's still kind of fresh. You announced your retirement early this season. Will we ever see you come back out of retirement? Uh, yeah, you should never say never. Marika, my sister, have tried that a couple of times and come back. So uh, yeah, seeing you should never say never. <laughs> well, we're kind of glad to hear that and maybe we'll see you back on track one day. We are here with the 151 of Riley Bester. Riley, you had a pretty gnarly off at ERX Motor Park a couple rounds ago. I know you just went out for practice. So what's your injury update? How's that knee feeling? Oh uh, yeah, so I went in for an MRI uh, last week and I have a partially torn MCL and then my tibia got cracked somehow with uh, impact. Um, but I'm racing and uh, I went out for practice and the snow is pretty packy out there so there were a few times I landed and I, I, I winced a little bit but uh, I'm hoping to go out for round one and uh, round two uh, this afternoon and evening and have, have some good qualifying rounds and hopefully get a good spot in the final. We are here with the 42 of Ava McCurdy. Ava, yesterday you took your first win at a national event in the Pro-Am Woman Showdown class. Talk me through that final. Uh, you know, we came out with the whole shot right away, so just let it from start to finish. Knew I had to ride smart. Um, kind of been having a little bit of sled problems, so it was just hoping that it didn't decide to act up in the middle of the race. Um, uh, it was a good track, a lot of up and down, so it's first time ever doing that, so it was a lot kind of risky. I uh, just m made sure I just rode smart and hard. You definitely did that. It was a very impressive win yesterday. And you were a rookie in the Pro-Am woman class this year. You said it's been a rocky start, but you have been gaining some momentum as the season's gone on. What else are you hoping to kind of accomplish your rookie season? Uh, you know, if we can just keep continue to finish top five, ride smart, um, maybe even get a podium within the last three races, uh, come home with exactly what we wanted to. Well, we're looking forward to that, and we do hope you secure that first podium finish. Thank you. Thank you.